But the industry we take most for granted of all is the one behind that ordinary light switch. Electricity itself, the lifeblood of the press button age. It feeds our automatic brains, works the projector showing this film, spreads light in our darkening streets. It has to keep working all the time, adjusting its supply to the varying calls of a whole country busily pushing buttons. The Barclay nuclear power station on the banks of the River Severn is one of the world's first two generating stations to produce commercial power from nuclear energy. With its sister station Bradwell in Essex, Barclay takes the everyday business of generating electricity into the strange, awesome world of atomic physics. Uranium rods do the job that coal or oil do in an ordinary power station. Here are the turbine generators, all perfectly conventional, only the source of the heat is different. All the while, stringent precautions go on to protect the staff and to protect the reactor from the outside world. This sensitive giant, a sun imprisoned in steel and concrete. This man has the simplest and safest of jobs. He handles uranium in bulk, all perfectly harmless until the elements challenge each other deep down in the reactor and the broiling chain reaction starts. From the store, to the fuel preparation room. Here is a uranium rod covered in magnesium. It's an inch thick, it's less than two feet long. It's the key to the miracle of the world we live in. And off it goes to the loading machine and so on its way to one of the station's two reactors. The rods can stay down in the reactor for up to three years and all the time they are being steadily replaced. These rods are not just too hot to handle, that would be the understatement of the century. They are first to be plunged into a cooling bath called a pond, where they will languish for about three months, during which time they will be studied. The modern nuclear power station worker goes through his precautionary cleansing routines. If he'd had a dose of radiation, this Geiger counter would really rouse the whole department with the sound of bells. It doesn't. A big thermal nuclear reactor is at least as safe as an Atlantic liner. But regulations demand that the check and double check never cease. 500 people look after the whole operation, from doorman to chief scientist. There is a great surge upwards in the demand for power. More and more stations will be built to meet the demand. Seven of them will be nuclear. Not cheap, costly to lay down, but carrying in them, bedded down in deep layers of protective concrete, the very sun in fury. 